guys, it's Elon with another video today and I'm going to show you how to make a speaker. This requires no wires and absolutely no electricity whatsoever. So at the end, it's going to look a little bit like this. You're going to have uh, two outputs uh, for your sound, which are going to be cups and bowls. And you're going to have these two ball valves, which are going to be your volume controllers. So what you need are two small cup drinking cups like this and then you need two larger cups I got these from the dollar store they're like goblets or something and then you need a foot long piece of PVC pipe about um, an inch and a half and then also these are six inch PVC pipes that are an inch and a half too and then you need uh, three-fourths ball valves. I use three-fourths instead of the standard one and a half for these tubes because the, these are much easier to twist than the actual one and a half ball valves. You also need a sharp edge like a knife or scissors and um, here's an extra bar for my hot glue gun. You're gonna need a hot glue gun and lastly you're going to need um, some duct tape and your phone to play some music. So let's get started. So what you start off doing is you take your, your foot long piece of PVC pipe and you draw an outline. Um, I would recommend like 3 to 3.5 inches which is um, you basically what how large most phones are so you can fit it inside and then the, the width would be about half an inch once again to fit your phones and then if your phone still doesn't fit and it has a case, I recommend if you want to fit it in, you just take your case off. I used a soldering iron to cut this, but you can also use a Dremel uh, or like a glass cutter. So anyways, I made the hole here. And now you take one of your bowl valves and you connect it like this. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take your hot glue gun and then you're going to glue it here. You're going to glue it here. Okay, so here I am uh, hot gluing the ball valve to the PVC pipe. It should insert fine into the well, one and a half inch. And what you do is you hot glue a decent layer ar around the, where the two are connected. This is to make sure this no sound leaks out. Okay, and this this is pretty sturdy surface right here, but that's why we have this duct tape right here to reinforce it. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this second valve and put it on the other side too. You have to make sure this thing is kind of lined up pretty good. So you might have to rotate it a bit. So make sure like the right here, this strip of the wall valve is lined up with the slit in your phone. So now I'm going to hot glue the other side. Okay, so now as you can see, I have both ball valves attached to the PVC pipe using hot glue. If you didn't know this, normally you have to wait between 5 to 10 minutes for the hot glue to dry, and then it'll be pretty sturdy. Later on, we'll add, we'll add duct tape near the end. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to the side, and I'm going to take my small drinking cup and my larger goblet, and um, once again, I use the... Um, the soldering iron and I made a hole in here and I also made a hole to the side of the cup I measured about one inch just just to keep things even same for the other cups so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and put this inside of this cup like this and then make sure it's pretty evened out so now it's time for the hot glue to once again make sure that the sound doesn't leak out at all so I'm going to take my hot glue I'm just going to start putting it to the side. You don't need too much hot glue, just, just enough to make a, a good airtight seal along the edge of these two cups. Okay, so now I have both cups 
glued together with the hot glue. That one's still waiting. Wait between five to ten minutes, or maybe a little less. This cools faster, depending on what type of hot glue you have. So now you have your hole here fitted for a one and a half inch pipe. You basically just trace it around with a sharpie and then cut it with the soldering iron. Um, so now I'm going to take my six, six inch uh, piece of pipe and I'm going to put it in like this. And then now I'm going to make sure it's about halfway through or so. You don't want it completely like this because it will drown out the noise and you don't want it out too far because the noise will leak out. So I'm going to make sure it's about halfway through and keep it at about uh, a good angle right there. And then now I'm going to take my hot glue and start gluing again. So just glue around the edges. You'll need a, a decently tight seal for this, especially if you cut your hole too big like I did. I cut my hole just a little too big. So I'm going to make sure it's a really tight seal. So now um, I have both of these pieces glued together. So if you can see, um, I have the pipe halfway through the cup, so that way the sound amplifies well. So now the next step is to connect these two pieces to our main thing, the PVC pipes. So um, you connect it like this. So um, what I recommend doing to make your life much easier is to just turn the valves so that the the valve is like this and not like this, so that way it'll be much easier for you to glue to glue um, the pipes together. So you take it like this, and then you gotta make sure that they're level, so like about this angle, maybe about a 90 degree angle or so, that they're lined up pretty good. And once you got that in place, you start gluing. Okay, so now I got that part glued down. I'm going to get the other part glued down too with the hot glue. This is also very important to have sealed because once again, you don't want any sound leaking out through the pipes and the valves. So you want to make sure this is very glued down. And so now I finished this, putting the, the glue around this part connecting the main part to the PVC with the output speaker. So now we have to work on this slit in the speaker because a Larry phone can fit in it and some of the leak will, some of the sound will actually leak out so you want to make sure that doesn't happen. So what you can use is balloons but um, we can also use gloves like these just regular everyday latex gloves. So what you have to do is you got to take your glove and you cut off the fingers and then you kind of spread it out horizontally on the PVC pipe uh, where the where the hole is and then you kind of make sure it's not too tight and not too loose and then you have to take your pieces of tape and kind of tape it down and make sure it's secure too. put another piece of tape just to stay on the safe side to make sure this doesn't fall off. Now you have that. What you have to do is you take your scissors or a knife and you poke a hole through here. And then you just have to cut a little 
slit in there too. Like this. So that way the sound doesn't leak out as bad. And then you can put your phone in. Like this. So then that way the sound really doesn't leak out and it stays inside and it travels to the PVC pipes and not to the speaker. So now I'm going to test this. This should be your final product. And then, but first, before you test it, you got to make sure if you want to be safe, you can put duct tape around these parts here just to stay on the safe side and around between where the pipes and the valves connect because although um, hot glue is very sturdy, it is, um, you need to make sure you have some structure here because as you can see, these cups are basically holding this whole structure up and then that's not enough, that's not too safe, so you want to make sure that this is wrapped in duct tape, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so I'm going to put the last piece of tape on, providing good structure right here with two pieces of duct tape crisscrossing each other like so. And then here, if you didn't see it clearly before, you have the hole. With, you, you, you can either use a balloon or a glove. I used a glove in this case. And then I cut a little, little cut in here so that way then when the phone fits through, it'll like reflect, bounce back the sound. And then um, the reason most of this is round is because the sound travels best through um, curved or par parabolic surfaces. So that's why this whole structure is basically round. So now I'll also put uh, pieces of duct tape here to provide more structure near the valves on this side too. And then right now the valves are open. And also, when you close them, you have no volume, well, little to no volume here. So here, now I'm going to play some um, instrumental music on my phone. You see, it's quiet, right? At first, you think, oh, that's not good, right? But now let me turn up the volume, because it's basically what I'm doing with these dials. And then now it's going to sound better. You see it's amplified, right? So you can see a difference from here to here where it's a bit more amplified. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you've tried this project. And please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you for supporting my channel. And I want to say thank you to those who helped me make this possible. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you very much for watching.